I have set the problem the problem up so that we have a cosine of a that is 12. That's the x component over 13, which is the hypotenuse. And if you do the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, you find out that this is 5. Now, if we do the same for this one that said the sine of b is 8 over 17, that makes our y part 8 and our hypotenuse 17 which makes the x part a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it makes this 15. Now, there are two different ways you can work this. If you can use a calculator, you could find the cosine inverse, I'll call it the arc cosine, of 12 over 13, your angle A, and you could subtract the arc cosine. Now the cosine for um, angle B is negative, so you would want the arc cosine of negative 15 over 17. And that would give you an angle, and then you would... Uh, find the cosine of that angle. So in, if you have a, or if you are allowed to use a calculator, then we would find the cosine of this because this is angle A and this is angle B. Now, I'm pretty sure that your teacher would rather you work it using the um, difference formula for cosine. And that says that the cosine of a minus b equals the cosine of a times the cosine of b. If it's a minus in the parentheses, it's a plus out here, sine of a times sine of b. And we can pick each one of these off of the uh, figure. So the cosine of a is 12 over 13. And the cosine of B is negative 15 over 17. And then we're going to subtract the sine of A is 5 over 13. And times the sine of B, which is 8 over 17. And when you do that math, you find out that the answer is negative 140 over 221, which is what you get for that cosine of the arc cosine of 12 over 13 minus the arc cosine of negative 15 over 17, but you get it in decimal form. And so this is approximately equal to negative 0 0.6335, which is what you will get um, if you do it up there. This is approximately equal, which is what you'll get from. This is what you'll get if you plug it in, if you do it this way.